Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. I'm Jimbo. Another fine day here in Southern California. Well, last night, my wife came to me and told me at the dance studio where she works that uh, they needed to get a couple of uh, file cabinets and a storage cabinet. And I asked, well, why couldn't you just get these things uh, at the office supply store? Well, they gotta be a custom size, certain height, certain length, certain width. Uh, they gotta be able to fit into an area and apparently they don't sell them that way. So it looks like I got myself a project for the weekend. So I went down to a local lumber supply store, picked up all the stuff I need. We're gonna build us a couple of custom file cabinets and a storage cabinet. Awesome, well let's get this stuff unloaded, get started on this project. Well, got the lumber unloaded off the truck. I just want to kind of go over and uh, show you a little bit what I got going on here. I know it's hard for you to see, but I'll explain what I got. I've got uh, two sheets of uh, three quarter inch birch Chinese plywood. That's pretty cheap stuff. I know she runs about 35 bucks a sheet. That's all we need for the boxes for the file cabinets and the storage drawer. Um, I've got a sheet of uh, ultra lightweight uh, three quarter inch MDF. I'm going to use that for the drawer fronts. Um, I've got a sheet of uh, five by five birch, half inch thick. Uh, we're gonna be using these for the drawers, uh, a little bit for the drawers, and then I've got these actual drawer sides. Uh, this is also a uh, half inch thick. Uh, got a nice birch finish to it. That's just the way they come. I've got six inch and eight inch. Six inch is gonna be for the three drawers that we're gonna do um, in the storage drawer cabinet. And then the eight inch, so what we're gonna use on the sides for the file cabinets. Uh, so anyways, that and of course some uh, drawer guides right here. Guides, glides, whatever they may be. We got seven of those. We're gonna have uh, uh, four file cabinet drawers and uh, three storage cabinet drawers. So uh, we, got, uh, we got everything we need, seven sets. So with that said, I guess I got a project in front of me for the weekend. Let's get started. Okay, everyone, so now that you saw my material list, uh, I'm anxious to get started, but I first want to say that I by no means claim to be a cabinet builder, a fine woodworker. Uh, I don't have the state-of-the-art table saw, routers, dovetail joint machinery. Um, I've just got your basic woodworking tools. I do a lot of woodwork, metalwork, and all the projects that I do turn out perfectly fine and they look great and they work good. And so that's the way we're going to handle this here today. Um, all my joints are going to be either butt joint or lap joint. Um, they're going to be glued and screwed or glued or nailed or both. And uh, at the end of the day, a couple of file cabinets and a storage drawer, they're going to look like something out of a furniture store. They're going to work great. And that's my goal. So I'm really anxious to get started on this project. Uh, in real time, it's probably going to take me I don't know, eight, 10, 12 hours to make all this from start to finish. So with that said, I got my measurements right here. I got a lot of cutting to do. I'm gonna get started and cut up this plywood so we can get our cabinets all cut out and assembled. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start cutting and then we'll pick up uh, during the assembly of the cabinets. Okay, well here we go YouTube, getting ready to get started on hours of countless cutting. And what I'm gonna be using is my Hilti SCW 18-8 cordless skill saw. Got a brand new battery in it, got a brand new blade, and here we go. Let's get this ball rolling. Okay, so what we're cutting out here are the, uh, the cabinet sides, the floor, uh, the back, and the front styles. Um, I'm trying to get these things all cut out, get all the cuts necessary I need to get, uh, to get these things assembled. Um, and I'm gonna be assembling these with um, with some glue, I'm gonna be using Tight Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue, which I picked up at the Home Depot. I use that all the time. It uh, works really well for me and I've never had any problems with it. Um, we're gonna be assembling it with uh, 16 gauge, inch and a half uh, finish nails uh, with my uh, nail gun. And that's how we're gonna be putting these things together. And uh, you know, like always, it's always something with me. I, I way underestimated the build time on this project. Uh, I'm gonna have 
I'm gonna have much more than the eight to 12 hours, which I initially planned on. It's probably gonna be more like, uh, you know, 18, 20, 25 hours of build time. But hey, it doesn't matter. We need to get it done. So let's move forward. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after four hours of, uh, of cutting and numerous interruptions with visitors in my shop and cell phone calls, uh, the aggravation and frustration level at its peak, the pieces have found their way to the assembly line. And uh, I'm a little bit reluctant to put these cabinets together because as you may or may not know, when things start going south, they really start going south. Um, thank God for an extra sheet of plywood because I made several mistakes in the cut during all these people and the interruptions that I had, but I was able to recover from that. And I think I've got everything I need to get three cabinets put together. So, um, as much as I would like to stop for the night and let this thing rest and uh, regroup in the morning, I want to forge forward because I want to get these cabinets built tonight so they'll be ready for drawers tomorrow. So, with that said, let's start some assembly. Okay, so we're going to get started by putting the sides and the back on the cabinets. Uh, and uh, you can see here we go with the uh, glue that I was using. I want to get glue on all surfaces when I put it together. And, and uh, there we are using the, the nail gun. You know, I had to use some clamps in here to be sure that uh, everything is kept nice and squared, nice and tight during the assembly. You know, uh, it, it is pretty important that, that, as I found putting this thing together, that, uh, you know, everything needs to be nice and square, nice and even, and, uh, you know, surprisingly, it worked out pretty good for the uh, sides and the back, and we, we were able to get that done. Okay, dude. There's the first cabinet frame. It's done, we're gonna let this thing dry overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other two assembled. We'll shove this thing to the side here. All right, Eugene. Let's see if we can get a better view from this angle, huh? All right, after I, uh, after I got the sides and the back on, uh, on each cabinet, I went ahead and put the, the front styles, I guess they are called, uh, inch and a half uh, thick by three quarter inch thick for the top and the bottom and the centerpiece in there and that uh, that completes the cabinet itself so we were able to uh, get that done worked out pretty good I'll check it out, you. two of them all right the next one's going to be a little bit different i'm going to put it together but i'm not going to put this centerpiece in because uh, this is where the two file drawer cabinets are going to go the other one's going to have three small drawers so i'm not going to i'm going to need to put a top and a bottom in but I'm also going to need to put one about here and one about here uh, to separate the three drawers. And so I'm not really certain where that's going to go yet. But I'm going to go ahead and make the third frame and just put in these top and bottoms and not put this one in yet. So let's do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, uh, we managed to get all three cabinets put together. Um, this is gonna, I'm gonna let these cabinets dry uh, overnight. I'm gonna get a good uh, 24 hours of uh, cure time on this glue, and the cabinets will be as strong as they could possibly be. Um, now, it has taken me approximately eight to 10 hours at this point right here to get to this point right here. And what have I learned from this, you might ask? Well, it's definitely taken longer than I thought it was gonna take, but however, um, I'm having fun building it and uh, so with that said we're gonna close out part one right here I want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for part two we are going to get the tops and the drawers built and put the guys on that should be pretty interesting so with that said part two will be coming around the corner don't forget to rate comment subscribe thanks see you next time on Jimbo's garage